I'm here today to talk about a lady called Miss Vi Watson. She was in the first first aid class run in South Australia in 1915 for ladies, what would become the nursing divisions in South Australia. And one of the things she started was to get first aid at the beaches over the Christmas period. The first one was at Glenelg. And she went down to Glenelg Beach with a couple of ladies and some first aid equipment and a sign and they sat on the beach. Then people realised that they could get treated for their minor injuries and things that happen at the beach. And all the beaches along the uh, South Australian um, metropolitan area started to set up these posts over weekends mainly in uh, what we call the summer period. Women who used to do the duties were all members of the nursing division and they were always women in those days. To attend the casualty room they had to wear their outdoor uniform to get there which was the white frock, black hat, black cape and later years we had the overcoat as well black stockings and black shoes. And when they got to the duty, they then had to change into the white stockings and white shoes and then change back again before they went home. One of the other things that uh, was very uh, important when the wars, the First World War and also the Second World War, there was a group called the VADs, the Voluntary Aid Detachment. And it was a group of females from St John and from Red Cross. Vi Watson became the commanding officer of these groups. They were at the army barracks or army camps that they would go and help soldiers that had come back that still needed some help, treat them, look after them for all of these times. For these two things, Vi got the special medals that were presented to all the people who helped in this area. She also got the coronation medals for King George and for Queen Elizabeth. So she has an array of medals and we have them on display. They've been donated to us at our museum. Vi Watson, a very inspirational woman, a woman that everybody looked up to and always met her challenges.